hello lovers welcome back to my channel guys if you're new to this channel go ahead and please smash that red subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and for everyone if you would show your support by giving this video a thumbs up today i'm here with baby drew and i am going to try on a couple different things um to get him dressed before i give him a bottle oh did i leave oh yeah i didn't um so i've been in my closet looking for different outfits and stuff that i think that he might be able to fit even if it's newborn or um preemie he is five pounds six ounces 17 and a half inches long um so i found this little shirt and um i think he could he can wear it and then I found these little pants and I feel like he can wear those and they have a truck on the back. They don't really go with this necessarily, but I figured it don't matter. You're not going to see the, the back of him. And when you do, you'll only see this and this. So anyway, they're both newborn, five to eight pounds. Then I had these little H&M pants, which is zero to one month. And guys, in my last video, correction, the zero to one month without the PM is supposed to be the smaller size. However, it just depends with H&M. Um, because this is, so this is zero to one. And I think this is going to be too big, but I'm, I wanted to try it anyway. And then I have a preemie onesie which it looks kind of big but it's it is preemie um and then i have these little petite um pants these are newborn but they're petite and so i figured i would get him changed so let me see how i can do this without blocking too much light and also allowing you guys to be able to still see him get dressed. All right. So getting a new baby, silicone baby specifically, for some people, if it's their first time, it can be kind of exciting, but also overwhelming. If you're, if you've heard like a lot of different mixed stories, like, oh, this can happen that can happen you know a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions and also just you know things that is possible but not likely to happen type situations I love this diaper that he has on so I'll probably save it um I'm gonna change his diaper though I did modify him two pacifiers um this is a smaller one and this one they're almost the same size but it's more bulky looking and this one he fits really nicely and i like this one on him probably the most but um that's you know it's just that's the fun part when you first get them and that's why for me i don't understand why people get so hyped up about um box openings because it's like the fun part is shopping for the babies and figuring out what you like um if it's a really really um little baby or something like that it's nice to have some stuff to start out with because you may take a while to find a place for for them I did not change his diaper purposely because I figured I wouldn't keep him on this, but oh goodness, he is actually looking like he could wear it. So, ooh, might be a change of plans because I really wanted him to wear this, but I didn't think it was possible. Hang on, Poco. All right, so it looks like it's going to be a little big up in this area. I could always like fix that by tying a knot or crisscrossing it in the back, but it will create a little funny little poof in the back. 
but it wouldn't really matter. Okay. So, he actually can kind of fit this. I mean, I would still put this on him, actually. Um, the thing about the full body babies is <clears throat> it doesn't matter if, like, this part is really open or whatever because there's no cloth you're not trying to hide cloth or anything you're um so yeah or i can pull it you know down a little bit more and then that makes it go so he actually can fit that which is great all right Whew. so that actually made my day but now it's got me really confused because it's like i really want to keep him on that but let's try on these pants because we really need to know if he can fit pants certain pants because i haven't really put him on pants so and i really want to see what he looks like in pants uh oh Can I get you out of this, little boy? All right. So let's go ahead and change his diaper. And we're gonna put him on a Huggies. This is a special print. I am, like I said, going to save it. I don't have as many left of this. So, hang on. I'm definitely going to keep this one to reuse. I don't, somebody asked me that, do I reuse my, um, my diapers? And I'm like, uh, no, not usually. Usually I just throw them away. But sometimes, if they're special ones, I will. I like for his navel to be out, so I usually like the ones with the cut part. And if they don't, I kind of fold it down usually. So, all right. Sorry, so now he got on a fresh diaper. Let's try on these H&M pants because those are what I'm really curious about because I just ordered him a whole bunch of stuff. And so I'm really curious to see if he will be able to fit these. So yes, so he definitely can fit these. Um, yeah, so that's good. So come here. So as you can see, he can fit the H and M pants. So he is not gonna be a baby. Like I said, I really see him more as a um, small newborn. So he's really gonna be a baby that I can pretty much put in a lot of different clothes so he's not limited on his clothes so I really love that so he could wear that I would put him on this because the shirt that came with this um I they were sold as separate pieces but the shirt is a is the bigger size um onesie and I know that would be too big so I would actually put him on this up under that um but just to let's see what how much time we got okay so but just for trying on purposes let's try on the newborn carters and this is an older carters outfit so their sizes have changed a little bit so let's try the shirt on because the shirt looks kind of on the big side but he's a little chunky and he's not super narrow so I feel confident that he would be able to fit this shirt. Oh, you're so cute and orange. I think he has a skin tone that kind of goes with a lot of different colors. Um, I haven't seen a color that I don't love on him. Um, orange is nice on him. It's probably not my most favorite color on him. But I 
think it does well with the gray complementing the orange so yeah so he is actually I'm really proud really really proud of you Drew <laughs> it's like so yeah so he actually can fit newborn just as I figured as long as it's small newborn so so if you know the brands that you shop and they're cut a little bit smaller than your usual brands that's that's gonna be okay for him because look at that that's perfectly the way a newborn would fit this so yeah so I really like that on him I'm trying to debate which one should I keep on him I know he can fit these pretty much I don't even want to try them on him right now so I'm thinking should I leave him on that or should I put him back on this I kind of like those colors on him more but then he'll be back in a plain white t-shirt so I don't know I think I might leave him on this Look at his hair. <laughs> it's messed up. So yeah, that's so like you like I said, it's it's fitting. It's not like it's too big around his waist or anything. So he's definitely fitting newborn pretty good. Alright. I guess just for good measures, let's go ahead and put him on this with this. Like I said, orange is cute on him. Not my favorite color on him. I don't know that I want him on just plain white either, but like I said, this is mainly to see what little some of the little outfits that I have that he can fit. I have some more too pulled out. So I'm just kind of going through my baby clothes and seeing what I have so that he can have a variety, you know? Look how wicky, 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 wicky. I just don't. And I don't change my babies like all the time. But when they're new, I change them a lot more than I do after they get settled and I get used to them and the newness wear off. But I do like to be able to have options to be able to put them on you know, different stuff and be able to shop in different variety of places. And I think that was my issue when I, whenever I get a really, really small preemie, it was just so expensive. I enjoyed the chase, but it was just so expensive buying those clothes. And then the one lady that I was buying from, one of the ladies that I was buying from, her prices doubled once her popularity took off, which I'm not knocking her hustle because that's what happened. You know, she became a brand. And so, but I can't support that. <laughs> not at this time. You know, occasionally I might still buy from them, but not anymore, not like I was. So sometimes, you know, it's like, I, it's not that I don't want to see, you know, one grow, but sometimes when they outgrow me, I just have to move on to something else. I let the people that can afford to do it, do it. But her work is really nice, so. Right, so this is what you're going to wear for the day, mister. So I guess the, the thing with the full bodies is that you really just want to be able to show, oh, I got a full body. I think that's a lot of why a lot of times we like stuff like the two piece outfits that we can kind of pull the shirt up a little bit so their stomach can show. Now that I need to clip that string, it's driving me insane. Um, <laughs> I 
<laughs> you just lay it all willy nilly. Guys, too, like um, how I went and got these scissors, it is important to put those scissors back up where they were and not by your baby because you don't want to miss and forget and lay them on the scissors or anything like that, which you wouldn't want to do with a real baby either. So, yeah. So he does have full, I mean, open hands here, fingers there, and then fist there. But I kind of like him with his hand mitts on some, most of the time. I think he just looks more baby. So that is it. So, and I kind of keep him on that blanket. I can switch him on a different blanket, I guess. But that's what he's been on. So I hope you enjoyed watching baby Drew try on different clothes. I will be feeding him next. So I will share that moment with you guys as well. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.